Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sincerely grateful to the organizers for having invited me to represent the 27 million of uh, Uzbekis Uzbekistani population, which is now victim to a despotic regime. I'm happy to speak uh, here in front of you on behalf of the civil society of Uzbekistan. I, two years ago, I did not believe that I would come out of prison alive and, and uh, certainly wouldn't believe that I would be speaking at such a high level forum on behalf of the civil society of Uzbekistan. My release from prison proved to our dictatorship, to our dictators, that international com the international community can change the decisions uh, of uh, the most vicious dictators. When I was arrested, my colleagues did not believe I would come out of prison alive. And I would like to thank you all for your active support, for working to set me free. And I would like to add I would certainly like to emphasize that Amnesty International have been extremely uh, kind and effective. The prison where I was incarcerated, I got uh, letters every day. And uh, this defeated, to a certain extent, uh, my goalers because they knew I was not alone. And the frontline organization is another one. When I was 45 and I celebrated my 45th birthday in prison, flowers were delivered to me and it was an absolute first in a, in a women's prison. And the prison officials were forced to actually give those flowers to me, to me, a dangerous state criminal. And now I am undergoing treatment in France helped by the International Human Rights uh, Federation. And uh, they have uh, provided great conditions, very good conditions uh, for me, for my daughter, for my granddaughter, to enable me to actually undergo this necessary treatment, medical treatment. And I'm very grateful uh, to these international organizations. Very briefly about myself, I'm uh, both uh, daughter and granddaughter of uh, so-called enemies of the people that uh, fell victims to Stalin's uh, reprisals in 1937 that was my grandfather and my mother was the daughter of of an of an enemy of the people and she is now the mother of uh, uh, an enemy of the people what concerns us is to raise the legal awareness amongst our population so that they believe that their rights and interests can be defended. When I was arrested after the Andy Jan events, riots, I was accused, I was charged, uh, although I'd only had uh, uh, one international award by then uh, to the tune of uh, just five thousand six hundred dollars, and uh, and they charged me with using those funds to incite riots, disorder in Andijan, 
and uh, they demanded that I should give uh, a witness statement that I should testify against uh, international human rights organizations, against my colleagues and comrades in arms. I refused, and so they added uh, several other charges. So I was actually prosecuted under 18 articles of uh, uh, Uzbekistani legislation. So they demanded that I admit my guilt. And when I refused to do that, I was tortured, I was tormented, and I really, as I said earlier, I just did not believe I would come out of that prison alive. I was certain that they would kill me, they would murder me for fighting for democracy. Svetlana Karnaukhova, a policewoman, beat me up so severely. Uh, but then, then, then I was looked at, examined by a doctor, but the doctor didn't say anything. And then I was, uh, I was, I spent uh, months in a, uh, in a, in isolation. 